Uh, where this is happening, uh, a man on a horse is riding with cars and it looks like motorcyclists as well. We, I haven't seen any police yet, but I know some calls have gone in. So we're trying to determine why this guy's doing this. But it's slowing traffic down behind him right during the rush. This is a bad time to be um, doing this and it's also illegal. Uh, so some cars moving behind him, but this is going to really mess things up. I can't tell, can Judy, we? if those guys are helping him or trying to I get him I was just going to ask you, do we have any more information on, on, on those who are on the motorcycle? Oh, there it is. There's a cop uh, <laughs> trying to and, wave him and, off. And the horse is going for it. Yeah, so this is the first police officer we've seen now on the Dan Ryan as this uh, gentleman rides his horse. Looks like the uh, police the vehicle is going to try to get ahead of them, hoping to... Well, maybe they'll try and corner. Slow them down. That's hard to corner a horse. It's going to keep going and listen to whoever's on its back. So again, we, we, we don't have a whole lot of information on, uh, you see those motorcycles uh, that are riding sort of right alongside of that horse and the man on the horse. Um, and that's sort of the first picture that we saw too, is that the bikers were right there with a the horse. So we are thinking at this point that they are together somehow. And as Rob said, that's the first time that we have seen a police vehicle pull up, and it looks like they're slowing down. Okay. So, sorry, Judy. Uh, southbound. This is southbound. So we're trying to figure this out. So southbound, uh, Dan Ryan. So this is going away from the city. So northbound or inbound trap, which would make it worse, people trying to get home from work. Uh, it looks like this is southbound on the Dan Ryan near what, this is the 70, 73rd. Okay. So 73rd. Uh, in the Ryan, so not far from the Inglewood exit if you get off there, and then you keep going a little little further south, and then it'll start to split. So I don't know if he's just going to keep going down to the southern suburbs or what. Okay, it almost felt like when the uh, police vehicle was slowing down with a horse right next to the vehicle that they were perhaps trying to communicate uh, w w with a man who is riding that horse. Um, kind of thought that maybe he would slow down, but that doesn't seem to be the case. Well, earlier it was really running. I mean, it was going pretty fast. So these, these motorcyclists, there were probably about a half dozen riding with this, this guy on a horse. Now we just see the, the one guy behind him. Now there's an ambulance going by, and now he has a police escort, but that's not getting him to stop running with this horse. So we, we saw it for the first time about 10 minutes ago, and he's had to...
An activist arrested this evening while galloping on a horse on the Dan Ryan Expressway. He was flanked by a group of motorcyclists as he made his way down the highway. He's known as the Dreadhead Cowboy and the Census Cowboy, and he's now in police custody. WGN's Jenna Barnes, live from the Pullman neighborhood with that story and an update on the horse. Jenna. Yeah, Micah, the goal here was to get attention, and it certainly did. The activists involved in this told us sometimes they have to be radical to create change. Horsepower on the Dan Ryan wouldn't typically draw attention during the Monday afternoon commute. But by design, there was nothing typical about this. If they keep shutting us out, then we're going to shut them down. Known around Chicago as the Dreadhead Cowboy, Adam Hollingsworth rode his horse, Nunu, with a motorcycle escort for nearly half an hour in the southbound lanes, slowing traffic to a halt. With the goal of turning attention to what activists say is a critical need. The thing is to send a message that our children are dying. There are no resources coming to our communities. They're calling for the mayor and governor to fund mental health, education, and social programs and development in neighborhoods they say have been neglected. When it comes to everything, we get the bottom of the barrel of everything. It's not going to happen no more. It's time for things to change. And this was the strategy to affect that change. Hollingsworth got off the Dan Ryan at 95th, and Illinois State Police arrested him. Nunu suffered from a hoof injury, and our cameras were overhead as animal care took the horse to its facility. While this stunt may be over, the activists warn they're not finished. Move two is coming. And we just received an update from Illinois State Police. Hollingsworth is now charged with reckless conduct, disobeying a police officer and criminal trespassing. And a second man is charged with obstructing and resisting arrest. Police say he refused to release the horse.